Hello, peoples and noobs of YouTube. This is Nexus Master. We're going to do a video. Well, <laughs> yeah, a new video. My third video in sequence that I've been recording for you. Huh. And I forgot to set my alarm. Good damn. So I'm just going to pause the recording this time. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. And we'll just hop into the game. I've dug it out. I screwed up quite a few times. Mostly couldn't find where I was supposed to go. But good news is, I just cut it short once, so I just mined away all my mistakes. Hooray! Now that's done. So let's throw in some more. Those are done. Oh! They actually did them all. Neat. Alright, so we'll toss in the coal and then the grout. Now, here's how I usually do it. In order to make a smeltery tank, which is in gold coal blocks, which is kind of fun, I did that. You gotta, you gotta go for what is a smeltery controller, throw a glass in there, and you've got a smeltery tank. I usually make two, and put them on each side, so that way, just more lava storage. It'll take from one, but sometimes it alternates. And when it alternates, it's really nice. And next up, I'm going to, let's see, can I make the right amount? Close, but no cigar. Actually, no, this is only half of them. This is only one side. So, how I usually do it is I have three here and one on top. Now, that actually works. You don't have to have this side in. As long as it's part of the outside ring, the smeltery will function properly. Now, it's time for this to go bye bye. And that. And let's see. Where did I put my iron? Iron. 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 Now we just gotta quickly make these into blockages. In order to make a two of fours, you will need four blocks. Usually just beacon blocks. If it works as a beacon block, you should be able to use it. Iron is usually the first one you'll get, but you can use many other things. Here. Tinker. Construct. Oh, yeah. It's S and then apostrophe, but we'll just leave it with tinkers. As you can see, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different kinds of tool forges you can have, just based on the bottom. The bottom is just what makes it look pretty. Iron's the easiest one you'll get, but when you have a lot of resources, you're more than welcome to do whatever the hell you want. And now you'll notice about a tool forge, we didn't have much to craft before. Now we have a lot, especially the hammer. Hammer is going to be very useful. Uh, just give me a second. I'm going to quickly go and I'm going to grab a drink. I wish I had a shortcut for the pause button. I unfortunately don't. So give me a second. And now we're back. Got my lovely eyes too. And the whole jug. Because why not? I have to go downstairs and pause the recording every time when I can just tell you, just wait a second, pour myself a new glass, you know? Now. Uh, let's see, we got 25. And eight. And there we go. Now I just need to make, oh, balls. Will I even have enough to actually start my smeltery? The reason I'm questioning this now, let's put that in half, I don't even care if it's uneven. I just need to get the smelter. Because, let's see, I need eight faucets total. Because I've gone through most of the grout that I made. <laughs> uh, 
That doesn't go that way. That goes that way. And I've only made half my smeltery. And I mean half as in halfway to a usable point. Kind of half. Like, seriously. I need to have one row back there, and on the bottom, I need to have a full row. Of nine blocks. Alright, there we go. I should have enough to do all the faucets. And, and those. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, this is the severe disadvantage. So while those are cooking more, I'm going to go on a hunt throughout this riverbed and see if I can find more clay. And then I'll have to get more sand, but I have all the gravel I need. For a while, anyway. Ugh. That's what I hate. Let's see. I'm so used to playing, like, Fallout 4 and stuff. Sprint is ship. Damn you, Bethesda. Using Minecraft sneak button is a joke. How dastardly. There we go, clay. Ow. How many clays do we got? Not even a full stack. Oh well. I don't need a full stack this time. But the more clay I can find, the better. Although I will admit, I don't really want to go sand hunting. Not that I really have to hunt down the sand, it's just finding lots of sand that I can easily get without having to nearly drown myself repeatedly. Good, I got like two stacks. Now just to catch up on the sand part of this venture. Oh, my balls. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure what was left of our seared bricks is done melting, melting, cooking, drying, becoming bricks, so... Let's get over there, finish that business up. Hopefully we have enough. But I mean, I don't even have lava yet, so... Eh. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I was right. All done. Wait, you can still cook stuff. Um, what can I cook you? I command you cook however many cobblestone with what's left. Alright, so I got 24. 24... I'm not going to make my cauldrons yet. So I'll make my cauldrons. I say that and then I make a cauldron. I'll make just one casting table for now. One casting table and the rest will be bricks. The blocks. Nope, not enough. It also helps if I put them in the right place. But at least now we have it fully enclosed by one. <laughs> God. There we go. I'll have to sort these chests eventually, but meh. So let's just get me like two stacks of sand. I guess we're going on an adventure. Because I don't really want to have to drown myself repeatedly to get all this sand. Besides, adventures make it so much fun. Swim! 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 Yeah! Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim. Yeah! Three sand! this little pillar for some reason. I'll get across on my next second. I'm just trying to get easy sand so I don't have to drown myself. Because drowning myself sucks. 
They get such donkey balls, bro. <gasps> more clay. Yeah, I know, I'm making my life more difficult because now i got to find more sand. But alternatively... That means... More, you know. I just realized I didn't turn Magnum mode off when I said I would. Now oh, whatever. I'm sorry that I lied. Back on the freaking thing, you mind hell of a lot faster. Oh no, we got shovels on us. Last night. Keep shoveling, shoveling, shoveling. Oh, fuck. Don't mind me just shoveling away. Gonna get myself some pork pie. Do 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 There we go. I totally just mined out a sandbar and got most of the sand. Just kidding. I have another full stack. Uh. See, if I wouldn't have mined that clay, I would have been home free there. But I did, so now I kind of just got to get more. So, three stacks. Looks like half a stack. the ultimate technique for breaking sand. Or anything that's affected by gravity, really. Because it counts as, like, not a full block. When it falls on it, it automatically breaks. Unless you're fast enough. If you're fast enough, it actually won't break. So, yeah, being too fast has its disadvantages. Being too slow makes it almost useless. I don't even know. Where Dunn is. Because I just checked, but I don't remember. Alright, so I can go like this. Yeah, by the time I clear this out, I should have more than enough. that out and then I'll just jump on top. Ta-da! Aha! Now watch me. <laughs> I thought I had enough shovel durability. Go 
it all in the mine run. There we go. I just have like an empty reservoir. And I just realized that I should probably waypoint my home. Now, if you're using the DNS mod pack, it is lovely. It adds in journey map. Well, it can. You could totally use voxel, but I like journey. Journey map is really good. Really good as in, once you figure out how to use waypoints, it's really convenient. Because the full journey map itself, you can open it up, and then you just... Oh, hey, more clay. I can't mine that with my face very fast. So, let's just call some arts. I say haul some arts, and I'm failing at simple parkour. I can't even... Oh, God, I'm going to starve. Ow. It hurts. It hurts. I'm starving. Uh, can you starve to death on easy? I think so. Oh, well. Either way. Lock up. And find a way through that state, because... Ooh. There we go. We're not starving anymore. Sweet. Alright, now let's just quickly grab some gravel. Um... Yeah, lots of gravel. Do I actually not have enough gravel to make? I swear I got more gravel than this. I can swear. Oh, I guess I did sleep for a day. Ah, oh well, whatever. Now we just simply go to usage. Just to make my life quicker. I can make full blocks of clay if I really wanted to. I can make concrete. Hmm. That'll be neat. Um, I can make sculptures, apparently. I can make hempcrete. Um, so it's like concrete, except it's made out of hemp. I made it for coke bricks. I'll do that later. Concrete, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait. It's in shapeless, because it's shapeless. Yeah, let's just go to my um, uh, gravel. Gravel doesn't have many of um, things. I am grout. There we go. Grout. Boom. There we go. And then we'll just recipe that. And do that one more time. Maybe three more times. We do it long time. Yeah, now I have more sand than I do freaking clay. Alright, there we go. We did two. That's great. Love it. Um, so let's see. How much coal do I have? I have 14. 14 coal. And so let's see. Throw in the charcoal here. Start that stack. Start that stack. Make my furnace. Do, 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 do. And start that stack. You don't have to do this exactly like I do, because <laughs> the way I do it isn't exactly the most efficient way. It's just a way that's really helpful. I mean, sure, I say it's a pretty good way, but, like, if you want to do a mod where you get better furnaces, such as Industrial Craft or Red... 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 No, Thermal Foundation, there we go. Or Thermal Foundation, that's fine. More than welcome to do that. What was that sound? It sounded like a whoosh. This is scary. Let's just quickly throw the corners. Set that up to my hand. Uh, I should have a time dial. Oh, hey, I can totally make one of those. <laughs> smart me, smart me. Please tell me I have enough. It's your brick it's right now. Just throw down. Yeah, I do. Totally do. 
Oop, no I don't. Never mind. I am literally one short of starting. Oh, and you know, I'm also short the lava, but excuse that. We'll get lava eventually. There we go. Now for the moment of truth. You know you built your smeltery right when... Ta-da! The light comes on. Now essentially what I'm going to work towards is putting tables here and cool tents here. Now instead of just waiting around for the rest of those to smelt, we're actually going to go into the cave and we're going to do some stuff. Do I have any more spare iron? No. Balls. Alright. So, it looks like we can only make a singular bucket. Because I'm dumb. That or I can Put that in there. Prepare that. Ow, my earballs. Yes. Rivet. I just gotta grab some more cobblestone now. We'll make another furnace, and we'll see if there's anything we can use for fuel to cook me up some more iron. Uh, <laughs> it's funny, Brody. Here we go. Well, I got a wooden pickaxe. I got some oak wood. Blanks. Um, what else do I have? Too many blank patterns. I don't think I can use those though, so take that with the salt. At least cook three. It should at least cook three. While that's smelting, I'm just gonna quickly run down here and start the process of well getting a mine going. Now! Oh, hey, there's coal here. Let's just mine this coal and go back to the surface. Thank you, coal seams. I love you. You're great. So, yes, we just gonna mine this coal and then we're gonna run back up top and totally negotiate. Smelting, y'all. Yeah, because the more buckets I have, the more efficient this grabbing lava will be. I feel rectangular without broken denim bob. <laughs> and now, that just leaves literally one. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. He's right. Wow! It looks like I don't even have to, because it's time to end the recording. And I actually recorded a little bit longer right now, just for this episode, because, you know, I could. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. It was honestly kind of boring. And I'm sorry these are kind of boring, it's just, I'm trying to mass record. Ugh. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed, though, and I hope you're at least learning something. The base setup is going to be mostly what you guys already know, like the simple stuff. But still, base setup is crucial because there's a lot of people who are actually just completely new entirely. One, two, three, four. And it just helps them to figure it out. So... If you enjoyed, click like, subscribe, flavor it, and I will see you in the next video I'm about to record. Already ours.